10 minutes before the fire engulfed us. So uh, police, the police came and said, you better, better get out here right now or you're going to die, he said. It was really, and I just had a few minutes to leave and with a few little things. Lake Isabella resident Andrew Alvarez's home is gone and he wasn't able to get much before leaving. Evacuation orders are still in place for rural communities in the path of the French fire. I got maybe a couple of t-shirts and a coat <laughs> and that's about it, you know, because it just was, um, it was a firestorm, like a tornado. I have I had canopies that were 30 feet in the air. It was just frightening, you know. He says when he found out there was a fire burning, he didn't know what he was going to do. You know, it's a funny feeling. It's a, you immediately start about, start thinking about uh, where you're going to go and what you're going to do. Years ago, Alvarez experienced a fire at the cabin, but unlike this time, the cabin survived. We survived one, uh, another one as big as this one, uh, probably, oh, I don't remember what year it was, but it was at least 25 years ago. It was a bad one. It scorched my cabin, the paint off the sides of the walls and blew the windows up, but it didn't go. But he says the French fire and this year's dry season is unlike any other one he's seen before. It's a big one. It's a it's a very dry season. It's amazing how much uh, uh, there was no moisture anywhere. And, you know, I've been there for many, many years and I've seen dry seasons, but this is the worst I've ever seen it. The cabin has been in his family since 1972 when his father bought it. And when Andrew retired 12 years ago, he made it his home and vacation home for his children and grandchildren. I love my grandkids and my children and having them come up and, and being, being treated like a father and a grandfather and being pampered. That's what I love the most. He says he hasn't visited the area yet, but he knows it won't be easy. What will Alvarez miss the most? Having his family visit. It, it, I know I'm going to break out in tears, and and it's just something I have to face. And, and, and the memories of my father and the things he built and I built together is gone. So it's a, it's a tough thing, uh, a road to cross. You know? Alvarez says what will make him feel better is being able to still go fishing. Crossing fingers, my boat's there. So I can go fishing. <laughs> that make me feel better. <laughs> The fire is currently at 15% containment, as we mentioned, and 23ABC did learn that Andrew's boat is still standing, so hopefully he can continue fishing in the future. Near Lake Isabella, Brianna Willis, 23ABC News, connecting you.